out our video about chokeholds. What I'm gonna do is slowly uh, apply some pressure and I want you to tell me if you can breathe, okay? Yeah. Now can you breathe? Yep. Oh no. Yeah. And let me make my case here. What do you guys think of chokeholds, especially people who've never actually had one applied to them or used it at all? Because we're going to actually uh, do it. I don't think Wade's ever been uh, oh, had a neck restraint. Have, no. well, this is good. Oh, I won't lie. Neck restraint sounds more harmless. It, it, it does. does. It makes yeah. it sound kind of nice. Here's what I'll say. It's more uncomfortable than a neck restraint, but less unpleasant than you would assume a chokehold would be. Hmm. But okay. you might poop. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go yeah. on to the chokehold yeah, yeah. thing. I've been so upset about this. I have a pit in my stomach because this man is facing death. Doesn't matter what charges you think. I'm more upset with, by the way, the Christian conservative right. Because, well, saying? you know what? We'll just pray from afar. Mm -hmm. No, there's a man who could be put to death. Neutrality is not an option. That's not an option right now. Yeah. Okay, people, and you see this in all this, you know, Los Angeles and California and New York, and like, well, you know what? Jesus is just love. Jesus flipped over some tables. And if you want to save a life, you can speak out and help save a life right now. Because by all accounts that we have, it could change tomorrow. A good man could be put to death f to appease a mob of evil people yeah, yeah. if good men don't step in. And you know what? If you don't step in now, when the wolves are at the door, expect us to love you and pray for you from afar, but we're gonna go lock, 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 bolt. Stand up and grow a pair. Uh, by the way, that includes Donald Trump. Yeah. That includes yeah. all of the Republican bootlickers at this point right now. There were riots before we elected you, and there are riots worse now. Do something. Because I don't know that you Anything. deserve anyone's Some votes at this point, okay? Uh, let's, uh, let's go into the executive yeah. order on chokeholds, which, of course, yeah. no one in this administration actually know what they are. And we'll talk to Jack Long about it, but here's what he yeah. says. As part of this new credentialing process, chokeholds will be banned, except if an officer's life is at risk. How do you determine that? And yeah. I will say we've dealt with all of the various departments, and everybody said, it's time. We have to do it. So then in this scenario, in Atlanta, the officers couldn't have used a chokehold right. because they, were, they weren't even under threat of bodily injury, according to the uh, DA. That, that's the craziest part about it is you have to ignore all of the physical attack and, and they yeah. call it tussling, right? <laughs> it's tussling. Oh, uh, it's, uh, they, those boys oh. got into a hootenanny. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, you, ha you have to ignore the reality of the situation and the facts that are shown on video to say that there wasn't a, a, a threat of physical violence in that Yeah, moment. and police officers need better physical training. We'll talk about how to do that yeah, with, with Jocko Willink. And let me be really clear, a chokehold, people get this wrong, like, oh my gosh, a chokehold is like drowning, and I'm going to display it uh, later on Wade here in a couple of minutes. Um, it's not at all, and, and, and you, can, you can understand that really quickly just by seeing how quickly a chokehold or a neck restraint, it's, it's a vascular neck restraint. People yeah. use the term choke, it's a, va it's, it's, it's a blood choke. It's yeah. not a windpipe choke, what we're talking about here. Uh, there are windpipe chokes, but what we're talking about is a vascular neck restraint. Yeah. Do you know, okay, drowning takes a while because uh, there's no oxygen. You can't breathe in any oxygen, right? Right. But chokeholds, vascular neck, neck restraints, seconds. can actually work within seconds. Here's an example of Joe Rogan from, I don't know, maybe 12 years ago applying a chokehold so you can see how quickly someone goes out. Yeah, you can trust me. First of all, applying one of these chokeholds to somebody that is non-compliant and getting like a perfect, like a perfect blood choke is probably impossible or at least incredibly fucking difficult. Like, th th like more often than not, this is not going to be like, th you're talking like, I have like perfect, like wrap around your neck. You're not like resisting or kicking or grabbing for anything. And that like, I have like good access. Like, this is like really, really, really fucking hard to do. Like, such to the point that, like, it's almost not even worth talking about. In the real world, like, it's probably going to be some combination of vascular or, like, choking air. Or just, like, wearing somebody Shut out and being on top of them, them so they can't breathe. It's a stupid like, fucking meme. Ready? 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 Oh, he's out. He's out. Is he out? Yeah, Shut the I'm fuck up, moving, all right? It's a stupid fucking up, meme. Dude. UFC okay. fighter so wow. dumb, just vascular hey, choke them for head. <laughs> yeah. Two seconds to put him out, put cuffs yeah. on him. Yeah, totally fine. Were you out? Uh, His hands red. Hello? You okay? No. <laughs> Do it again. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, he went out pretty quick. Well, well, yeah. Fine. All right, there well, we go. It doesn't take long. Yeah. No. It doesn't take long. It's not like drowning. Let me be really clear. A chokehold, it's not applied, one that's not applied to the windpipe, one that's applied properly. It, it impedes arterial blood flow. Right. Let me explain it to you in a simple way. Okay, the brain recognizes the, the arterial, the blood flow is compromised, mm -hmm. sends a message going, oh, wait a second. 
and the heart starts slowing down its pulse, it starts slowing down the blood needed. Effectively, yeah. a chokehold is one of the very few kinds of techniques that you can use, whereas a pain hold, a submission, sometimes the damage is already being done. When yeah. someone feels it, if they're on PCP, they have no idea. A chokehold, a vascular neck restraint, effectively puts your body into standby mode so that it prevents damage, yeah. so that you don't drown. For someone of decent health, and by the way, that's the same reason you can't use tranquilizer guns because we don't know what drugs are in these right, people. There's yeah, no 100% exactly. right. safe way. But for someone who doesn't have a serious condition, and even with pe people who have more serious conditions, a vascular neck restraint is undoubtedly more safe than a punch, a strike, a baton, a taser, if they have a pacemaker, a tranquilizer. Your body goes, wait a second, I'm not going to get blood. I don't want actual drowning to happen where there's brain damage so let's shut everything down right. so that there's as little blood flow and as right. little blood in the, a little oxygen in the blood necessary so that i can actually sustain this that's the wonder of the vascular neck restraint is you can be put out never hurt no damage i don't think you can think of it people don't just get hit and your body doesn't go like oh my gosh i'm going to uh take a nap to protect you already have concussive brain <laughs> yeah, damage yeah. By the way, hit the, speaking of, of, of uh, damage, hit the notification bell, hit all notifications <laughs> because subscriptions don't work, notifications don't work on the YouTube. We do Good Morning Mug Club weekdays, uh, Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern. And of course, do join Mug Club because uh, God knows what's gonna happen to us after this show. Um, <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bill does. I know. And, and here's a good example, and I know that they're trained athletes, but I put this on Twitter and I think we'll have, we'll have Jocko Willink. We've had, a, you know, Chael Sung, we've had Daniel Cormier on. People who compete in striking sports like boxing, kickboxing, far more likely to sustain serious yeah. permanent injury or death, right? You know, you've heard about concussive syndrome. Yeah, mm -hmm. just look at Muhammad Ali. Yeah, and we have, I think, a source here from uh, Academic, yeah. And then we have uh, another source from PubMed where um, uh, grappling sports chokeholds are actually much safer. Let me get to go. Yeah. Studies show that proper chokehold taught to police, rarely ever fatal, rarely even serious injuries. As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. according to the brutali police brutality database run by Fatal Encounters, a pro uh, police reform organization, less than one percent, less than one percent of people die from any form of, of asphyxiation while under any type of restraint during police encounters. Three and a half times more people are killed by tasers. Oh, oh. So, so tasers are a deadly weapon. Tasers are significantly ah. more dangerous than chokeholds. And I understand. Listen, but these. Wait. Okay. So just uh, for some. Okay, I'm not saying whether or not his argument is right or wrong. What I'm saying is that he doesn't have the data to make the argument that he's saying. That's what it looks like here. Okay, let's say, hypothetically, let's say, um, where's our taser? Let's say 1,000 people were tased and 100,000 people were neck restrained, right? If 906 out of 1,000 people died to a taser, that is a massive fatality rate. If 100,000 people were restrained by the neck and 263 died, then that's pretty good. Now, let's say we flip that. Let's say for tasers, let's say tasers are used like a million times and 906 people die. Let's say that neck restraints are used like 1,000 times and 263 people die. That would make the neck restraint far more deadly than the taser. We have to adjust these for number of uses. My guess is going to be, I'm not 100% positive, my guess is going to be that tasers are probably used far more often than like chokes. Or maybe not actually. I guess it could go either way. I'm not sure. It'd be interesting to get information on both of these though. But but you you would need that information to know like how many times were each things w was each like use of force applied or whatever in order to figure out which one is more deadly. We could also wind up into an area too where the only time somebody is choked is after they're tased, in which case the choking is always going to be less than the tased because you're going to tase somebody before choking them. Shut the fuck Do you know up, if that data is available? I have no idea if it's available or not. I'm just saying oh, that. So you're going to make the per capita argument, Pepe. Under any type of restraint during police encounters. Three and a half. Just stab them for head. Half times more people are killed by tasers. Oh, oh. So, so tasers are a deadly weapon. Tasers are significantly uh. more dangerous than chokeholds. And I understand. Listen, but these are unpleasant scenarios. What you have to do is pick an option that keeps people as safe as possible, right. both the perp and the police officer. And there is right now an actual technique available that can be used to render someone entirely incapacitated without electrocuting their heart yeah. or rattling their brain around in their skull. 
It's a gift, and we give it to you, the people. <laughs> it is unreal to yeah, me. Right. Let me ask you this. How many careers have you seen ended in boxing or in mixed martial arts from a strike? In boxing, it used to be, I don't know if they cleaned it up, it was like four deaths a year. The yeah, only death I think we've seen in a out. sanctioned MMA bout is weight cutting. Yeah. But many careers have been ended from strikes, repetitive strikes, people have broken their shins. Mm -hmm. Right? How, yeah. Name me one person who suffered permanent damage in any professional fighting sport, sanctioned fighting sport from a chokehold. It's never happened. Yeah. Now, people will say, well, it's because you tap. No, you can find videos <laughs> longer than you could, more footage you could watch in a lifetime of people going unconscious in the octagon. Yeah. Now, they say, well, referee steps in. Sure, that's the point of police training. Exactly. You don't hold a choke for a minute. If you hold it, they go out, cuff them, you're done. We're going to take a quick break. I'm going to come back and show you what a chokehold. I don't, I, don't actually, I don't know if it's true or not because I just don't watch a lot of MMA or any MMA, actually. I'm just Googling. In shocking scene, MMA fighter Mel Melchizil, Melchizil Costa choked unconscious for 90 seconds. I saw that so close. I, I don't know if there have ever been like injuries or things related to like people getting choked and killed, but I would imagine it's probably hard to choke somebody to death in like an MMA or UFC fight because you have an actual referee there to, to stop the people. Um, however, um, it, when, when the police are subduing a, a perpetrator or a and accused, you don't really have a referee there to stop the choking, but. What a vascular neck yeah. restraint is like and what it is not. All right, it's gonna be a fun time. No, it's just we're just gonna show what it is. So first, let me show you something that's really, uh, somebody does, we'll talk about this with Jocko in a minute. Remember they were stopping the grab the guy's taser? Okay, so let me show you before we go to a chokehold. Right here is a taser. You can apply a joint lock, but I want to show you what a joint lock is. Shut the fuck up, Luke, all right? It's a stupid fucking example. meme. So let's say I'm coming in here, I grab that wrist, and I pin Wade. This is what we know is a Kimura. It's a shoulder lock. Wade, what you're going to do is you're going to tap when you start feeling some pain, okay? Okay, so there you go. So, uh, and I'm not in proper position right now because we have a desk behind us, but that's unpleasant, that hurts. Okay, so now I'm going to sit back up. I had to take my uh, boots up. No, no, put your feet up there. Yeah. So everyone's going to say this is gay, but anyone who's ever actually applied a choke knows what this is. Uh, I, took off, <laughs> I took off my shoes. Fuck, I was going to say right Shut before I said this. Up, Luton, all right? It's a stupid fucking meme. Pepe. Do you think he might be gay? I've always wondered, dude. I, I don't know. Like, the way that he acts sometimes makes me wonder. But um, but then he just said that. So I'm saying it just because he said that. Sorry, go ahead. Because I didn't want to hit him in the balls. Uh, so typically what happens is a rear naked choke. You see this a lot in MMA. I'm trying to control his body here. So this is a good establishing of control. So right, let's say you try and squirm out. The whole reason I'm just controlling yeah. your body here. And you have some options, but here, see, I'm riding you like a backpack. Yeah. There's an over-under grip. Now, what I want to do, and I, uh, uh, like let me backpack. just show really quickly. I don't want to choke you on the windpipe, okay? Yep. So if you're uncomfortable, obviously just tap, we'll let it go. Uh, but I want you to let me know if you can breathe, okay? Because okay. a lot of people think it's like drowning. What really happens is I'm getting his carotid arteries right here. I'm going to be shutting down blood flow. Okay, and there are a multitude of ways to do it. I can actually do it here with his collar. This is called a bow and arrow choke. So see, look at this. You can even see my forearm is not on his throat, right? You can see that's not, but I can cut off the blood circulation that way. There are a million different ways, but the most common is what's called the rear naked choke. So what I'm gonna do is grab Wade here, okay? Put this under his chin. I don't wanna get, I don't wanna get a zipper on him. Sure, so, yeah. You know, it's better than a taser to the heart. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Or the balls. Yeah. yeah. But you electrify my heart. Oh, that's sweet. So. <laughs> Wait, don't worry. The segment's called, called Let's Kill Wade. Uncomfortable. So what I'm going to do here <laughs> is put him in a chokehold. And if any of you has, have questions, you can ask. I'm going to grab my own bicep, my own shoulder. The idea here is to close the space around his neck as much as I can. So a lot of people get this wrong. If they're not trained properly, what they'll do is they'll grab this and they'll jerk it. Right? I had one trainer who called, uh, called this for some reason. I don't know why. The... Uh, the Captain America and the Wolverine. I don't know why. Hmm. Uh, hey, that it's was appropriate. Yeah. Difference. So let me show you kind of really quickly if you can come here, man, your show. Let's say this is Wade's head right here. Here, I'll just move yeah. for one second. Let's say this is Wade's head, okay? The goal is to close the space. This is his throat. My elbow is ideally right where his throat is. So that's the least uh, amount of pressure being applied is right on his trachea, if I'm doing it correctly. But I want to squeeze the sides of his neck. So here's all the space for Wade's head right now. Close it. Okay, there's a little less space, right? Close that. Now what I do is put this on my shoulder. A little less space, Hit, imagine his head right here on my chest. Bring this around. There's a little less space. Something else I do. Breathe in, there's a little less space. Then I squeeze everything together. I don't yank, that's how you miss a choke. 
That's why you see some guys who can be choked for a long time and they don't go out. What I want to do here is get my head on this side and close that space. Look at that space right there. How much space is there for Wade's head? Not a whole lot. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's really I'm assuming like should be applied. Just put them apply the pressure. Whoa. Okay. Back in. Good. Yeah. Want to raise the speed up? Raise yeah. Just raise the speed up. This is what we do. So we get some. You good? Yeah. Do you know that you want to conscious? Uh, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Are you good? Yeah. Could you read? It wasn't waterboarding, y'all. No. Wait. Instructor. Okay. But, like. Obviously, like chokeholds and strangleholds, I I don't know if it's real or not. I hear some people say strangle. They use strangle to refer to blood chokes and chokes to refer to like windpipe chokes. Um, the 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 problem is that like setting these up in a real life scenario where you have like a very clean hold on somebody's neck can be very 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 fucking hard to do. Ruin it a last second. It's we've seen this like a million times. It's just choke somebody and they pass out. You in better a few fucking seconds. hold this choke for eight minutes and um, forty six seconds. Otherwise, it's irrelevant. Nice. But like th these are like perfect case scenarios. This is like borderline like Aikido levels of demonstrations. Not to mention the fact that half the police force's stomachs are too large to even get in position to do this anyway. Make all kinds of crazy jokes on this show. <laughs> 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 